staged approach. Tooth replacement following extraction and grafting of mandibular molar to me is amongst, when I see this on my schedule, I see a patient come in that I grafted, and here's the case, this tooth was out, I use exactly the same technique I just showed you, place the bone graft, wait three months, come back in, bone 60 to 70% turnovers occur, mineralized cortical cancers 50-50, I can now make this very simple dentistry for myself. You gain additional keratinized gingiva. You see that distance from the buccal flap to the lingual flap? What kind of tissue is here? Keratinized gingiva. I now have a healed site. Because I grafted, I haven't really lost a lot of ridge. You're still going to lose a little. You're going to lose like 10%, but you're going to keep most of it. And I can use a comb beam CT and a surgical guide. I place my rear implant right through the top of the ridge in a transmucosal approach. The procedure takes me over about 15 minutes start to finish. But what else can I do? I can just drill right through. I can use a tissue punch. A little tissue punch, take the plug of tissue out and drill. That's all you need. You have enough keratinized ginger. You don't have to move the flap around. You have keratinized ginger. I have my dedicated drills. I can go to my depth. I always want to leave at least two millimeters of tissue in the posterior above the head of the fixture. I have my dedicated uh, drills with stops. You're going to use it later in the day. Here I'm using a wide diameter implant, so now I can place a wide six millimeter implant for the molar, because if I try to place a, a six millimeter in the septal bone, it would have been very challenging. I would have had to destroy almost all the septal bone to get my implant in. So now I can place the implant in, and look at how that looks. This is day of surgery. It looks like I haven't done surgery. But more importantly, than now I can expedite the case. I, pay, I place a scan body. Now they're made of peak material. Uh, they're dual purpose. They can be used as a temporary restoration, temporary cylinder, or they can be scanned and sent to the lab. So here's the scan body placed the day of surgery. Why can I do this? Because the tissue hasn't been insulted. It's not going to move. It's not going to change shape. So I can send this off to the lab. The scan body is in place. The implant's placed in the bone. We take a shave, scan it, send it off to the laboratory that day, place a healing abutment, wide diameter, I get this back, uh, and then I can place this uh, restoration in several weeks later. I'm really minimizing the time in the chair. This is a uh, sent to the, one of the Ritter labs that work with Ritter, and I can get the uh, tie base. I can do this out of the mouth. I cement this to the uh, old zirconium crown, and then we can place it in the mouth, screw retained. So the ability for us to do this in a very uh, effective way, very uh, uh, very, very dense, very monolithic in this case, uh, zirconium. And you can see this at one year. You also have a platform switch on this implant. What's great is the five and the six millimeter and the 4.2 all restore to the 3.7 uh, connection, 3.75 connection. So it has a very, very nice platform switch. So we gain from a platform switch concept. It has a identical internal connection to Zimmer, BioRisons, and uh, even some of the implant direct implants. So it's a very similar internal hex uh, appearance. So just a very different way to deal with a type one site.